Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to create a slideshow about my parakeets, but then I decided not to and completely scrapped that idea. And I decided to come up with another video about my parakeets and actually talk about them and what they eat and what kind of birds they are and how I clean their cage and all those other kind of things. So. From now on, all the videos that I have will start to get quite lengthy. So my first parakeet's name is Darling, and she is almost completely white except for a few bars on her head and on her back. And she does have a pink sear, but because she hasn't reached a mature age, it could change. And I got her from PetSmart when she was about two months old in September of 2018. So she is about to reach her mature age and she actually has begun to molt which I will put a video of Golby preening her right After here. After Golby had preened her she had a mohawk so that will be here and I was only able to get Darling through my chickens which I began to run my own egg selling business and I was able to get almost three dollars a dozen off of eggs and if you've been to PetSmart parakeets aren't that much. They cost maybe 20 to 25 dollars a bird. Plus feed is only a dollar or two and the most expensive thing to buy a parakeet is its cage which could cost 50 to 100 dollars. Now Gopi is a lot younger than Darling, possibly even three to four months younger than her. He has bars all over his face, all over his head, and he has huge black eyes which indicate that he isn't fully mature and when I first got him he was actually a lot smaller than Darling which led me to believe that maybe he was the girl but now that Darling has begun to molt I'm starting to believe that maybe Darling might be the boy and Golby might be the girl because girls actually tend to tear up their toys more than the boys and the boys like to whistle and bob their heads more than the girls and Darling does a lot of that. Golby tends to stay to herself, doesn't like anybody to touch him, and so I'm not really sure what gender is which. I will be able to tell once they both molt. And hopefully if they are different genders, I can breed them and be able to sell my own babies to the pet supplies around here and be able to earn money from that. And I might even keep one or two of their babies. I feed both my parakeets a parakeet mix that is flavored orange and maybe once or twice a month I will get them a little square piece of millets which is about this long and about this thick so I don't usually like to give them a lot because they go nuts over millets so Darling usually has hers eaten up in less than three days. Golby likes to take his time with his but he will usually eat it as quick as he can so Darling can't steal it from him. Um, if I do give them any vegetables or fruits, it's usually apples because they are very picky with what they eat. And if you actually leave fruits or vegetables in the cage long enough, it will create bacteria or fungus and get inside the cage and make them very sick. Gooby is a common green parakeet and like a blue parakeet, it is very, very easy to obtain those type of birds while well, Darling's colors are a lot harder to come by. So if you want a green or blue parakeet, you can just go to your local pet store and they will have one there. While if you are looking for a color like Darling's, you either have to wait until they get a shipment with that kind of color in it, or you have to go to a breeder and have the breeder breed those type of colors. So I feed my parakeets a parakeet mix flavored oranges and also get them little cubes that are about this long and this thick of millets and they are actually flavored honey and I get the same kind every single time since that's the kind they like. I would not recommend getting your parakeets from PetSmart or Pet Supplies as sometimes they can leave the store carrying diseases and they usually aren't properly taken care of. I would recommend going to a breeder, but that wasn't an option for me as there are none around me. 
I actually just realized after editing that you can hear Gobi and Darling from downstairs screeching and tweeting at each other even with the door shut. <laughs>